Or do you have? And then you have skills. And those are just things that have nothing to do with the job. They make we could. You know how to do. Uh, most of the characters in this game have skill. Grow up. Fourteen. Nimbus. Fourteen. Okay. That's beautiful. Who uses this now? For uh, the last. Pass. Um, you also have shit. Where are you having to probably ask? In this game, there's Star Wars games. Everybody starts out with a certain number of yum yums. And yum yums work a lot like fake points in some games. You can use them for your die rolls, you can hmm? use them for oh, resist yeah. damage, cause extra damage. That's a plus one. All the typical stuff you can use for karma points, fake points, whatever like that. You can also use them to subtly change reality. How many, how much you can change reality depends on how many yum yums you have. Um, if you're, uh, example, you're in a phone booth. You've got your superhero costume on, which has no pockets. So, so I'm going to check the coin slot. Is there a quarter? GM says no. Spending yum yums will not cause a quarter to magically appear in the slot. But if you spend yum yums, there could be a quarter on the ground. So you can't contradict anything that's been established. But other than that, pretty much, you got enough yum yums, anything cool you want to do. Um, and how you earn yum yums, you do them by amusing me, basically. Uh, role play well, come up with a good plan, really cool way to chop zombies head off. I don't want to give anything away, but you guys are going to encounter zombies in this game. Zombies? No. Zombies are the fuck? So you, if you come up with a cool way to fight zombies on roller skates, you'll get yum yums. Uh, buy me beer, you know, anything that makes me happy, get you yum yums. Uh, that's pretty much the game system. When you want to roll something, you've got a number assigned to each of your words. If you've got a skill that applies, you add that to that number, and roll a d20, and you want to get as close as you can without going over. It's kind of like on the Price is Right. You know, you gotta, uh, um, so if you roll the number you're rolling against exactly, that's like a critical uh, If you roll a 20, that's a critical failure. If you roll a 1, that's called what we call a quirky success, which means something weird happens. And usually, like, five people will roll ones at once, and it's impossible for the GM to work on that one. But, uh, we try. <laughs> That's pretty much the system. Once you guys have your character sheets, it'll probably make a lot more sense. Uh, anybody got questions? Comments? Anybody want to sing? Don't screw us too much on our options over here at the end. Oh, they are. Like, they're surging for the guy who's best at. We're, we're, we're effed over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're all going to pick people with good body. We're going to have, like, pure natives across the board. And I was going to do a kung fu. <coughs> well, not kung fu. Kickboxing <coughs> and roller blades. We can encase you in the middle if you want to feel real special. <laughs> Dance for it. We say you can make characters in five minutes, and you can, <coughs> unless you waffle about what you want. I don't know what my skills are. So it usually takes about 20 minutes to make characters. It's just because there's so many options how open the game is. It is? It's wide. <coughs> <laughs> God, we're going to get stuck with crap characters. Yes, we are. <laughs> That's why I always got F's in school. I got mine lost. <laughs> and, uh, the Roller Girls vs. game is not actually available yet. We're hoping next year. we got to do Frat Boys vs. First because we've been running it for like six years at cons. And people are asking about it. But we do have other games like Enforce, a monster hunting game. Quirk, a pair of UPV. Adventures of Sinbad. Weird times at Charles Ford High, spooky, wrestling, all kinds of stuff. And if Scott's got a booth here, you can have him up here. And if he doesn't have a booth here, well, the now, you should probably <laughs> What's that? He said, but Roller Girls is wildly popular now. You should, uh... Obviously. <laughs> Conflict of interest. 
Well, the first slot I have for Travis is December because they've already planned out the schedule. <laughs> I know Scott's got Quag Rose in the store. The store's open because I haven't seen a booth for him yet. Yeah, definitely worth it. I thought somebody said they saw a copy of Spooky here. I don't know who else would have it. Well, besides me, of course. Well, we, our stuff hasn't been available for distribution since 2002. So. Always. Yes. Always. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might have to bring his own chair. 15. Can you just start seating I need to go one more. More player. <laughs> Who would play him or her in the movie? <laughs> That's the most important thing on the sheet. Here, we can make room for you over here. So really, you don't need to worry about it. What do you look like is the main reason to it. Alright. I chose those pictures very carefully. I spent hours doing pictures. I mean, hard work. I spent more on the pictures than he spent on making the characters. <laughs> it was a tough job, but somebody had to do it. Well, yeah. the GM had to do it, of course. <laughs>